The latest update for M365 backups has been released, so let's head on over to the lab. Today we're going to upgrade Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 from version 7 to version 8. And you can see I had a handful of proxies here and a handful of repositories as well for the different types of objects in 365. Mail, OneDrive, SharePoint. To get upgraded, we're going to download the latest ISO, ensure our console's closed, and launch the setup wizard. We want to make sure we're on a supported operating system. Version 8 drops support for server 2012. My server is 2019, so I'm all good to go here. We'll go ahead and click on Next, accept the license agreement, and then apply our license file. If you leave it empty, it will simply be the community edition, which is good for 10 users for free. After a couple seconds of a configuration check, we need to make sure that we do have enough room for the Postgres database, and that we do need to apply these new permissions to our app registration in Azure, or Entra ID. I'm going to click on Customize Settings to show that you can supply a remote instance of Postgres, Postgres excuse me, uh, or a local instance, as well as NATS, which is going to be the message queuing system used here. I'm going to install a new instance on this server and apply a password. We're going to click Next and Install. This process will take a couple minutes, so I went ahead and sped it up. Now, once it's finished, we can go ahead and close the installation wizard. And we'll go ahead and launch the VB365 console from the desktop. Now, in my environment here, you'll notice that my jobs all have red X's on them. My proxies are all going to have red X's on them. Uh, and that's because, right, nothing is updated yet except for the server itself. I can't run any of these jobs because they're in this disconnected state. Now my default server, the VB365-1 server, is up to date. I'm just going to go ahead and rescan that so the console shows the updated view, and it shows now that it's up to date. But since these other proxies and their repositories are not up to date, I can't run any of my jobs. You'll see it's completely grayed out to start any of these jobs. So the first thing I'm going to do is select two of my proxy servers and get them upgraded. Simply right-click, choose Upgrade, and Next. Now, in my environment, I did not have the prerequisites yet installed, so we're going to see an error message here. And we'll notice that not only do I not have the proper .NET version installed, which is what this error message says, I also don't have the updated PowerShell module as well installed. So I'm going to go ahead and install those on my remote proxy servers, come back, and I can go ahead and continue on with the upgrade now. Now with these two proxies being updated, I'm gonna to go to their repositories, which is mail one and mail two. Remember in version seven, a proxy owns a repository. I'm gonna right click on each one of those and do an upgrade as well. That's gonna upgrade them to the version eight repository settings. And on the left, you'll see unindexed. And if I click on unindexed, we're going to see that we're indexing now that this is working on moving information right from the metadata database on the proxy into that centralized Postgres database. Now that I have that process down, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the rest of my four proxies by simple next, next, next. They've been upgraded with the latest prerequisites as well. So this portion will go fairly quick. And again, I need to go back to those repositories that each one of those proxies owned, and I need to upgrade them as well to be a version seven, excuse me, a version eight repository. And I can select these and upgrade all the repositories. They're also going to be unindexed. They're gonna start the indexing process. And pretty soon you'll see the unindexed under backup repository slowly start counting down. As each one of these repositories moves, that again, information from that local metadata cache that existed on the proxy, now to that centralized metadata database in Postgres, on the VB365 server. Now I want to work on adding my proxies into pools. Previously, it was one job per proxy per repository, and a repository was owned by that proxy. But now I can group them together so they can work as a team to process a single job. So I'll go under the backup proxy pools and create a new pool called mail pool. 
I'm going to add both of my mail proxies that had my mail jobs in there, proxy two and proxy three, and add those into a new pool. And now that pool's created. And we'll go ahead and continue this with our OneDrive and our SharePoint and Teams as well. So again, where we used to have one job be assigned to a proxy, and that proxy could only own uh, that one repository or multiple repositories, but that repository could only be owned by a single proxy. Now we're enabling a job to consume multiple proxies, and those multiple proxies can target multiple repositories, and any proxy can write to any repository inside of this pool. If you see edit pool, you can add more proxies in later or remove proxies as well. I'm gonna go back to my mail job here and choose edit. I didn't do anything with it yet, but we're gonna see when I click through next here that it is now assigned to the proxy pool mail pool. And that's because those repositories that those proxies owned are in those pools. So I don't need to come back and edit any of my jobs. They're already targeting these proxy pools. Now, when I run both of my mail jobs here, where it used to be archive mail was only running on proxy two and the mail job was only running on proxy three. Now, each of these are going to be uh, utilizing both proxy servers. That NATS server is going to be handling the uh, orchestration of which objects are going to which proxy uh, for those repositories. And if we go back to the backup proxies here, you'll see we're also going to balance those proxies based on CPU and memory, which we have a nice view of now. And I'll go ahead and just let the backup jobs complete, but that's the simple process of upgrading from version seven to version eight when you have multiple proxies and you need to convert those proxies into proxy pools.